Hello mga ka-Alien, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to The Aliens Vlog and Match Tutorials. For today, we are going to have another match tutorial and it's all about geometric sequence. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss geometric sequence. Number two, solve for the ratio and term and some of the terms of geometric sequence. Number three, explain the importance of geometric sequence. Those are the objectives of the lesson. Okay? Always remember that failure will remind you that you are trying. Again, always remember that failure will remind you that you are trying. Let's go on our lesson. So what is geometric sequence? A geometric sequence is a sequence such that element, any element after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding element by a constant called the common ratio, which is denoted by R. The common ratio R is obtained by dividing any term by the preceding term. As we all know, in arithmetic sequence, we are adding the common difference in order for us to get the next term. In terms of geometric sequence, we will be multiplying the common ratio in order for us to get the following terms that we are going to look for. Formulas to be used in finding the n term. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to n minus 1. Again, for finding the n term, we will be using A sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to n minus 1. Where A sub n is equal to the number of term of the sequence. A sub 1 is equal to the first term of the sequence. R is equal to the common ratio and n the number of terms. In finding the sum of the term, we will be using S sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r where r is not equal to 1. Again, s sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r where r is not equal to 1. Where s sub n is equal to the sum of geometric sequence with n terms, a sub 1 is equal to the first term of the sequence, r is the common ratio, n is the number of terms. In order for us to understand, let's have an example. Write down the n term in the geometric progression 1, 3, 9, etc. Again, write down the 8th term in the geometric progression or geometric sequence such as 1, 3, 9, and so on and so forth. So we will be using a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Given a sub 1, that is the first term, that is the first term, n, that is the number of term, r is equal to 3. We will be dividing the preceding terms from right to left. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. It can also be the, the second and the first term, 3 divided by 1, that is 3. That is the common ratio. So we will now be substituting the given values on the given formula, where a sub 1 is equal to 1 r is equal to 3, n is equal to 8, then minus 1. What's the first thing to do? Subtract the exponent. As simple as that, 8 minus 1, that is 7. The first process, subtract the exponent. Number 2, simplify the term with exponent. We will be simplifying the term with exponent. What is 3 raised to 7? 3 raised to 7 is equal to 2,187. 3 raised to 7 is equal to 2,187. Then the next term is multiply. 1 multiply by 2,187. The answer will be 2,187 because any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself. So that is the 8th term in the geometric progression or geometric sequence 1, 3, 9, and so on and so forth. And the 8th term is 2,187. Another example. Write down the 6th term in the geometric progression or geometric sequence 2, 10, 50, and so on and so forth. Let's find the 6th term. We will be using the same formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to n minus 1. What are the given? A sub 1, that is equal to 2. What is the first term? N is the number of terms. R is equal to 5 because we will be dividing the third and second term 
50 divided by 10, that is 5. We can also divide the second and the first term. 10 divided by 2, that is 5. That's why the common ratio is 5. So we will now be substituting the values on the given formula. A sub 1 is 2, R is 5, N is 6. So the first process, subtract the exponent. 6 minus 1, that is 5. Subtract the exponent. 6 minus 1, that is 5. Next, exponent, we will be solving the term with exponent. 5 raised to 5. What is 5 raised to 5? 5 times 5, 25 times 5. 1, 2, 5 times 5. 6, 2, 5 times 5. I think that is 3,125. After we solve the, the term with exponent, we will be multiplying. 3,125 multiplied by 2, the answer will be 6,250. That is the sixth term of the geometric progression to 1050. The next example, write down the ninth term in the geometric progression or geometric sequence 3, 12, 48. We will be looking for the ninth term. Our formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. What are the given? First term, that is 3. Number of term, 9. Correct? So, common ratio, that is 4. We will be dividing the second term and the first term. 12 divided by 3, that is 4. You can also divide the third term and the second term. 48 divided by 12, that is also 4. So, the common ratio is 4. Let's now substitute the given values on the given formula where a sub 1 is 3, r is 4, n is 9. Again, the first process, subtract the exponent. 9 minus 1, that is 8. 9 minus 1, that is 8. Next one, simplify the term with exponent. What is 4 raised to 8? 4 raised to 8 is equal to 65,536. That is 65,536 because you need to multiply 4 by itself 8 times. Number 3 process or third process, multiply. 3 multiplied by 65,536 and the answer is 196,608. The ninth term on the geometric sequence 3, 12, 48 is 196,608. I hope you are following the next example. Write down the seventh term in the geometric progression, 40, 20, and 50. Again, the formula, a sub 1, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Given, a sub 1 is 40, that's the first term. Seventh term is 7. What is the common ratio? We will be dividing 20, the second term, by the first term. 20 divided by 40, that's 20 divided by 40. It will become a fraction because the denominator is greater than the numerator. So we will be finding the lowest term of 20 over 40, that is 1 half. 20 divided by 20 is 1, 40 divided by 20 is 2. So our common ratio is 1 half. As you can see, if you have a geometric progression that becomes lower, that means your common ratio is a fraction, okay? So we will now be substituting the values on the given formula. So we will be having now, first term which is 40, r is equal to 1 half raised to 7 minus 1. So we will be solving the exponent, subtract the exponent, that is 7 minus 1, it will become 6, then 1 half raised to 6, simplify the term with exponent, that means we will be simplifying this one, 1 raised to 6 and 2 raised to 6. So it will become 1 over 64 because we will be raising 2 by 6. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 1 over 64. Then multiply. So 40 multiplied by 1, that is 40 over 64. The lowest term of 40 over 64 is 5 over 8. So the geometric... The seventh term in the geometric progression 40, 20, and 10 is 5 over 8. So we will now be moving on to finding the sum of the term. We will be using the formula that I flashed to you a while ago. S sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by the quantity of 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r where r should not be equal to 1. So S sub n is equal to the sum of geometric with 
sequence with n terms. A sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, R is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms. Let's now try to have an example. Find the sum of the first eight terms of the geometric series if A sub 1 is equal to 1 and R is equal to 3. Let's now try to find the sum of the eight terms of the geometric sequence if A sub 1 is three, 1 and R is equal to 3. Given A sub 1 is 1, n is 8, R is equal to 3. So given A sub 1 is 1, then R is 3, then n is 8. So what will be the first process? Simplify the exponents with, simplify the terms with exponents. So we will be using, we will be solving 3 raised to 8. So 3 raised to 8 is equal to 6,561, that is 3 multiplied by 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 3. So that is 3 raised to 8, 6,561. Next process, subtract 1 minus 6,561. We will be subtracting this one, 1 minus 6,561. So that is negative 6,560. 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. Again, 1 minus 6,561, that is negative 6,560. 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. Next, multiply, then divide. 1, multiply by negative 6,560, divided by negative 2. 1, multiply by negative 6,560, divided by negative 2. The answer is... 3,280. The sum of the first eight terms of the geometric series if A sub 1 is 1 and R is equal to 3 is 3,280. Next example. Find the sum of the first six terms of the geometric series or geometric sequence if A, A sub 1 is equal to 2 and R is equal to 4. So the same formula. Given A sub 1 is 2, N is 6, R is 4. We will, we will be substituting the values on the given formula. That is, first term is 2, then R is 4, N is 6. Again, first, first rule or first step, simplify the term with exponent. What is 4 raised to 6? 4 raised to 6 is equal to 4096. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. That is 4096. Then subtract. 1 minus 4,096, then that is negative 4,095, then 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. Again, 1 minus 4,096, that is negative 4,095, 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. Then we multiply, then divide. Multiply, then divide. 2, multiply by 4, negative, negative 4,095 divided by 3. 2, multiply by negative 4,095 divided by 3. That is 2,730. The sum of the first six terms of the geometric sequence is 2,730. Another example, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric sequence if A sub 1 is 4 and R is equal to 2. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series sequence progression if A sub 1 is 4 and R is 2. Given formula, that's the formula. Given A sub 1 is 4, N is 10, R is 2. Let's now try to substitute these values on the given formula. So 4 is the first term, 2 is R, then 10 is the number of terms. So what do we do first? Simplify the term with the exponent. That is 2 raised to 10. Multiply 2 by itself 10 times. That will become 1024. 1,024. Then subtract 1 minus 1,024. 1 minus 2. The answer will be 1 minus 1,024. That is negative 1,023. Then 1 minus 2 is negative 1. The last process, multiply then divide. 4 multiplied by negative 1,023 divided by negative 1. The answer is 4,092. That is the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series. If one is equal, is if a sub one is equal to four, r is equal to two, and n is equal to ten, s sub ten is four thousand ninety-two. Another example: 
Find the sum of the first eight terms of the geometric series, sequence progression, if a sub 1 is equal to 5 and r is equal to 3. Same formula, a sub 1 is 5, n is 8, r is 3. So that means we will be substituting the values on the given formula. 5 is the first term, 3 is the common ratio, 8 is n. So the first process is simplify the term with exponent, 3 raised to 8. So just simplify this one, 3 raised to 8 is equal to 6,561. Then we subtract. 1 minus 6,561, then 1 minus 3, that is 1 minus 6,561 is negative 6,560, 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. The last process is we multiply, then we divide. 5 multiplied by negative 6,560 divided by 2, divided by negative 2, the answer is 16,400. That's the process on how to get the sum of the geometric sequence. That ends our discussion. I hope you learned something today with regards to our topic for today, which is geometric sequence. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Again, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. We are talking about number patterns and one of the patterns that we are talking about is geometric sequence. Geometric sequence will help us in real life that we need to find solution in any, in any problem that we are facing. We need to find the patterns of our life in order for us to solve the same problem that we encounter in our lives. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone. May God, loves, may God bless you and always remember that God loves you so much. Thank you for watching.